Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am here in Corona, California. There is a Chuck E. Cheese behind me that's very special because it has one of six left stage types and it's got a one of a kind feature of that stage type. And we're gonna go in and check it out. I hope you guys will join me. Let's go see it. You guys had a road stage, and I have not got to see stage. one. Can I gotta say, I think yeah. I've seen you on YouTube. Have you? Okay, cool. So this is the road stage here in Corona, California. What's significant about this stage is there are only six of these left. There's only one left in North Carolina or anywhere else in the US, and there are five in the LA area. Uh, this is my fifth of the six to see in person, and I am excited to see them perform. It looks like it's an amazing shape. Uh, I talked to uh, the manager a little bit, and uh, he's very proud of the stage, as he should be. The story is beautiful. So I'm excited to see it. So we got a 1990, it's one of the originals. Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. That's awesome. So what makes Corona's road stage so unique is out of the last six that are still remaining, this is the only one that has Munch has his name. All the rest of the road stages have Helen, Jasper, Pasquale's names on them, but Munch doesn't. This one, they actually have an insert here under the organ and his name is displayed so that the whole set's complete, uh, which makes it a very unique looking set. And uh, it looks awesome. All the lights are working great in the buildings and again, Real quick, just in case you don't know what a road stage is, the road stages came out in 1990. The whole idea behind them was these characters were sitting on top of buildings. There's not just boxes. There were buildings, they were supposed to match them with the backdrop as if it's a cityscape. And in front of them, in the original prototype, they used to have a road, and on either end of the stage, they had lamp posts. So the whole idea was this was a road, they were on the side of the road in a city, and then it was just a big cityscape and uh, they sat on top of buildings. Over time, they got rid of the road and the lamp posts and all that and just kept, kept the uh, buildings, basically. Um, that's the history of the road stage and, uh, and this one is in phenomenal shape. So Munch, in addition to having the unique name insert into his piano slash organ, he also has the 1990 Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. original hat when this stage was, from when this stage was put in. Um, as you guys know, I love that hat. If I had a list of things I absolutely want in life, it's one of those hats. It's the rub token for good luck. And it's any of the phase two and phase three art of uh, the Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. art. Um, if I could ever have any of that stuff, and of course, a wink, especially in, in pizza we trust wink. That's my wish list. Uh, if anybody can help make that happen, you just let me know. This is a really big store. 
big arcade area really good sized building you can definitely tell the outline of the uh, old showroom <clears throat> And I was talking to the manager, James, and uh, we were talking about the remodel. They were supposed to have started, but they're having some issues with the city. So thankfully, this stage is still here. But uh, they're going to tear this all out. This will just be blank wall or, you know, whatever they paint on it. So the whole stage area will be gone. And uh, the end of the room is where they're going to have the stage. So, um, or not stage, the screen. And then they obviously the dance floor will be in front of that. Um, so it's going to completely change the whole dynamic of the store. But, you know, such is the 2.0 remodels. We've talked about them exhaustively on here, but, you know, I get it. This is why uh, the company needs to do it. But uh, the sacrifice of all of our childhoods is the small price to pay. I see the big Warhols and Chuck sassy headshot but all by himself i don't see the other ones let's check down the hallway no not down the hallway either however i do see some way over in the wall i see some of the tickets up on the wall but they also have one of my favorites spider chuck spider chuck And then, let me see. Uh, of course, they got the Grand Marshal and the um, Chariot. And I also see the Chuck, uh, Super Chuck and Super Helen over on the wall. And of course, the oil painting in the hallway from 2005, the watercolor painting. Not oil painting, watercolor. So yeah, they got a pretty good assortment. I think that's what, phase four? You guys know better than I do. I'm terrible with the faces. I know I say that a lot, you'd think I would learn, but I haven't yet. So we had one of these at the Chuck E. Cheese that I worked at in Flint, Michigan, back when I was in high school. This is an old game. Um, I, I still remember these, these are pretty cool. You drop in the uh, token and it, the little spinning rack as it rolls across, puts it into one of these slots or not into one of the zero slots. That happens more often than that. Yeah, I remember that game. That's an oldie. Look at Ghost Hunter. Ooh. That's pretty awesome. We got tokens. We got some quarters. Chuck in his car. This caught my eye over here. This is ancient. This definitely looks like one of the originals. Yeah, look at that. All the chipped paint from the decades of use. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. As you can see, they have a wonderfully working wink with Spotlight. I'm gonna get on out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this store visit here in Corona. I'm hoping going to hit the sixth and final road stage on this trip. We will see. See if I get let in. Um, but I really hope so because that's the last road stage for, uh, for me to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. We'll see you at the next one. Bye, Munch. Later.